Okay, this is my quick walkthrough uh, with Xenio server partitioning and the install. So I've already clicked on uh, install and it took me to this screen. So we're going to hit English, United States, accept the default, English, English, detects the DVD drive, and then it should install a few components here. This allows us to finish the remainder of the installation process. So it's trying to do some IP configuration, get an address, and uh, I'm just going to cancel there and we're going to put in our name server addresses you can use the same uh, this is going to be my uh, partition okay continue set up your user that you want to use on this machine a username and a password that you can remember don't encrypt your home directory mountain time And now, here we're the partitioning screen. So I'm going to use a manual partitioning scheme because I want to set it up the way I want to. So go ahead and do this. And uh, we'll choose the disk we're going to partition, create a new empty partition table. Yes. Now we have some free space. We're going to create a new partition. This partition is going to be 8 gig in size. We're going to hit continue. Then we're going to say uh, this one is going to be a primary partition. Now. Uh, you have to make sure that you're following the instructions in the assignment, but I'm going to do a primary at the beginning Specify where it's going to be mounted Whatever other options that we have Awesome done. I'm going to create another one just for fun and this one will be maybe a one Gigabyte partition. Uh, I'll make it a primary beginning and I'll put I don't know That's the be the mount point um we, yeah, I'm just gonna leave all that done setting up the partition. So you kind of keep going in that fashion to set those up, but right now I'm gonna say finish. Oh, it says, oh, sorry, it said, uh, you don't have any swap space. Uh, you should use some swap space. Um, okay, it, we really don't need it, but I'm gonna go, I'll go create it since it's asking for it. So create a new partition and let's do one G of swap space. There is a difference between G and GB which we will have to talk about. Uh, and so this one is, sorry, right here, hit enter. And I'm gonna come down to swap area and done setting up the partition. And now finish right, yes, I wanna do that. So I just created three partitions, a root partition, partition for my serve files, and then a partition for the swap space. And now it says it's installing the system. We'll give that a minute. And then hopefully we can reboot into our live system. The other thing we have to do is configure our address space or our internet address. So I'll pause this for a minute. This is the screen I got to finally after waiting for it to install. So we don't put anything there, hit continue. Now it's going to ask uh, if, it, if I want to install some software. Uh, I'm not going to do any automatic updates. I'm now we can come down here and say yes, install OpenSSH server, continue, and then it's going to go and install some more packages for us. Here I am on the last screen that asked me for anything or the last screen where I actually stopped for something. And yes, we're gonna talk about this uh, later on. So I'm gonna install Grub Bootloader. And at this point, after it installs Grub, it should prompt me to reboot. 